Welcome to this episode of Kennedy Saves the World. Let's go, Janky! That's right, Jim. Yankees are going to the World Series. Hot damn! It's a big deal in the Fela house. So much so that when they clinched the last out on Friday night, Mm -hmm. a Saturday night, I got a call, a FaceTime from a shirtless Lincoln Fela. (laughs) I said, Lincoln, Daddy's hosting his TV show tonight. I said, if the Yankees happen to clinch the pennant for the first time in your life while I'm on the air, you have my permission to have one Coors Banquet beer. <laughs> what is a Coors Banquet beer? You know, the re- original uh, with the tan label. So the Coors oh, okay. Heavy. Yeah. Okay. And uh, lo and behold, I got a FaceTime from the Link Man, which led me to believe he had more than one. It was a shirtless <laughs> Lincoln Fela wearing a chain I didn't know he owned, oh. drinking a beer in my living room with the Yankees piling on each other in the background. Oh. But, you know, exactly. This is one Lincoln. of those nights where bad parenting has to get the win. Because <laughs> it's actually good parenting. It's, the Yankees are going to the World Series. Well, and it's because of that parenting. It was that energy that, that put the, Yankee, the Yankees over the edge. And they were able to uh, not if, lose to Cleveland, which you, I thought they were going to. If you remember the three-run homer by Soto, mm-hmm. okay, when he stepped out of the box, you could hear Aaron Boone audibly saying, you know, Fela's kid has permission to have a beer if you hit this home run. At which point Soto was like, <laughs> out of here. Dead center. Let's go. There are so many great memes, like the <sighs> Michael Cohen testifying. Yeah. You know, it's, a, and it's how many times have you watched Juan Soto's home run? 20 times? More. 50 <laughs> times? More. 100 times? More. 500 times? Probably. <laughs> it was amazing. But we, you know, and this is why it is, it's so awesome. Because it. we were around for 20, uh, 2009, mm-hmm. the Johnny Damon year. But 15 years is just a long time. Yeah. You know, and we're at a point now as a, as a franchise. It's too long for the Yankees. Thank you. And it feels new again. Mm -hmm. And there's a genuine excitement. Like, we won enough in the late 90s, early aughts that it kind of became like a birthright thing. We're not there now. This is a new generation hungry for success. And it's coming. They're going to beat the Dodgers. So what has to happen for the Yankees to beat the Dodgers? They just Just have... You know, in, in broad terms. If they play at the level they did against Cleveland, they will beat the Dodgers. What I mean by that is the Dodgers don't have any pitching. Okay, they had several bullpen starts against the Mets, including last night's game. Mm-hmm. Bullpen start meaning here's your eighth inning guy for an inning, here's your fourth inning guy yeah. for two innings. Okay, you can't go seven games against a lineup as deep as the one the Yankees have without decimating your bullpen, even if you have starting pitching. Mm-hmm. Now that they don't, they're at a they're at a, they're exposed more against the Yankee lineup because that's more length than they are against the Mets. But the bigger, okay, and this really is the difference maker, is the Yankees have more pitching than the Mets. They have mm-hmm. a better bullpen. They have more starting pitching than the Mets. So I consider them the more complete team. Odds makers make the Dodgers a slight favorite. Why? Because they have home field. Yeah. Better record during the regular season. Just but by three games, though. I know, and that doesn't scare me. What and happened I- to the winner of the All-Star game? Remember that whole song and yeah. dance? Yeah, they walked away from that. Yeah. Because they got into all that dopey pitching change stuff and limitations. Is that, no, that's over. But the point is, the Yankees, this is their moment. You, they got a lot of great guys, and they have a core right now that's very unique in sports and that they always say, like, oh, these guys sacrifice and play for each other every day. Like, they do. Like, Giancarlo Stanton... Giancarlo. Giancarlo. Jean, whose name is Mike. Yeah. Till like 2012. Yeah, he's he was like, in our house is Big Mike. Yeah, Big Mike. Yeah. <laughs> we got two now. Yeah. <laughs> but the point is, they rooted so hard for him. He doesn't bench as much as nah, the other Big that's Mike. No, the other Big yeah, Mike. Yeah. Doesn't make as much per speech, speech either. <laughs> uh, but anyway, they root for him on a level that it's, it's different in sports. Mm-hmm. Okay, what they have going right now. And it's going to be enough for them to win. Dodgers have Otani. That matters. They're going to have a lot of eyeballs. They have of Mookie how... Betts, too. I wish Mookie Betts They're was phenomenal. a Yankee. They do. I do. Uh, Kiki Hernandez. I like a lot of guys, okay, on that team. Teoscar Hernandez, fantastic. Yeah. Okay. That the being... Hernandez brothers. They're fantastic. I get it. They got it. But we have more pitching. And do we? we... Yes. It doesn't feel like it sometimes. I know. <laughs> Whenever Clay Holmes comes out, I go, oh, we really don't have Well, he's a middle reliever it. now, so don't you worry about that. Yeah, but he really relieved himself all over the mound the other night when he That was the Cleveland game it. against yeah. against the Guardians. Yeah, that's game four. Against the Cleveland Elizabeth Warrens. Yeah. You can't call it that whole thing. So yeah. stupid. But the point is, we're going to win. You heard it here first. Don't go anywhere. More Kennedy saves the world right after this. You watch these games recreationally. Mm-hmm. Okay, you most, watch them professionally because you've got a kidney to lose. There is life changing consequences for me when I'm watching these sporting events. <laughs> <laughs> so if they win, you're going to a ticker tape parade. If they win, I'm going to a ticker tape parade. Yeah. If they lose, I'm going behind Port Authority in a blonde wig with powder on my Adam's apple. <laughs> 
and turn it some tree, you know, use code word, uh, code word iron horse and uh, get a $50 and 20, discount. 20% off. Yeah. Or $50, whichever code word is less. Thurman Munson and the plane will go down on you. <laughs> oh, my. Just, oh. My garden. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was a great weekend for sports because UCLA football finally won two and five. Mm -hmm. uh, USC football lost. Did they ever? Yeah. That mattered. Yeah. They're, they're three and four, I think. I don't hate them the way you do, but we've talked about I like this. to think that everyone hates USC. I just resent the conference realignment so much. So much. It's so stupid. That everyone who's part of it, I just hate. Yeah. And, I, I'm glad and Texas lost. ranked... USC as high as they did yeah. early in the season, you suck. You're yeah, bad at your you. job. Yeah, they had no business being no, there. No, absolutely not. This was a top 10 team. No. But they're it's just name recognition. You know what I mean? USC is the Jeb Bush of national championship contenders. Yeah. They came into this year with a lot of recognition. But the minute we got on the field, we were like, who donated to this? Yeah. When they, someone thought this was going to win? They're standing around the locker room going, please clap. <laughs> no. We're not, we're not clapping for you. And then Army won. Yep. So Army is 7-0. How about it? Yeah. That's it's very popular in the Kennedy. The household. right things are happening in America right now. I would like to think so. They are. So uh, that brings me to my next question, because so much of sports and politics share momentum. So, you know, we, we talk about the Yankees. Do the Yankees have momentum? Does this in any way reflect the momentum in the presidential race? And has it shifted since we last spoke? Trump is winning. Uh, McDonald's, the visit, it mattered a lot. Um, Obviously, there's a trolling aspect to it, which, to be clear, she didn't... I thought was masterful. masterful. The trolling part of it might be my favorite part. Of course. She didn't work at McDonald's. And why do we know this? Because McDonald's said we have no record ever None working at all. Here. And if she had one for all the money they have and the ability to go find stuff, they would have located someone mm -hmm. who was a co-worker. If one of your former co-workers is about to be the president of the United States, they would remember you. Yes. Oh, I remember that person. And yeah. they would certainly come out in support of you. Okay, so the point is, if they could provide proof that would kneecap him on this, it would have been out there already. Mm -hmm. But they've been forced to just endure this and try to cheapen it by calling it a stunt. It was staged. As if anybody thought he was just taking randos at the cashier yeah. after two assassination attempts. But the bigger reason why, and this is where it ties into your Yankee thing and your analysis of sports, is Trump is elevating the working man. The working man's having a moment right now. Mm -hmm. The sought over guy, the sought after guy in this economy now is the tradesman. It's the handyman. It's the guy who runs his own business. It's the plumber. It's the construction guy. He has elevated the working man in a way that they haven't felt in a long time because the attitude towards them is different. Like Kamala sees them as know-nothings that she needs to manipulate into voting for her yes, before the election. Yes, they owe it to her. But what Trump is selling the working man is as the keys to our country's victory after he wins, meaning if the, low, the middle class and the working class thrive, America as a whole does better. And that's where the momentum lies. Like, we're trending in that direction of the everyman. Mm -hmm. This is an everyman moment. When you look back at these playoffs, it wasn't Judge who was the American League MVP. It was Giancarlo, mm -hmm. who during the regular season usually hits 190 with 26 of the sickest home runs you've ever seen. <laughs> but now we're getting to treat him like this is his Aaron Judge moment. Yeah. You know? And that's the point of right now. The working man is having a moment. So, J.D. Vance... In the vice presidential debate, that was the same thing as Juan Soto's three-run homer. That's what you're saying. No different than Luke Weaver coming out of the bullpen as a member of his sixth major league team in the last two years mm -hmm. and being the most dominant closer left in the playoffs. Oh, dream, dream Weaver. Dream Weaver. I love it. It's so good. We have got we went from Enter <laughs> Sandman to Dream Weaver. It's so bizarre, but it's yeah. a great you moment. You wonder why men are voting against Kamala. Oh, God, <laughs> when they were like, they redefined masculine. All of the sales they've tried to make. Yeah. It's not working. Trump's going to win. I'm, the Trump the Trump Yankee parlay on DraftKings, where is that offer? You know, you're never three minutes away from a gambling ad in this day yes. and age. Yeah, where is that election World Series parlay odd? Would you take it? Yeah. Oh, the Trump Yankee parlay? Mm -hmm. All day. All right. Well, there All you day. go. Now you know how to bet. Uh, you know how Jimmy's going to vote. And you know what to do with your week. This has been Kennedy Saves the World, along with Jimmy Fela. I'm Kennedy. Listen ad-free with a Fox News Podcast Plus subscription on Apple Podcasts. And Amazon Prime members can listen to this show ad-free on the Amazon Music app. Oh, go ahead and leave me a review while you're there. I'd love to hear what you have to say. You've been listening to Kennedy Saves the World on the Fox News Podcast Network.